I've broken down. Oh, I'm gutted. They're on their way, but they're gonna be over three hours until they get here. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day now. I'm still absolutely loving this full poster bed. I feel a lot more protected in it. Does that make sense? But also, Tom left us yesterday. As you can see there, his bed's still here. And it was weird waking up and him just not being there. Tom, I miss you. <laughs> but he's off in Poland at the moment on his stag do. Um, so, yeah. I had an option last night of staying in this bed or that bed. And I went for this one, obviously, because it's a lot bigger. And actually, I haven't... Do you know what? I didn't actually test out Tom's bed. Tell the truth. Oh, my God. Oh my word, this is actually so good. See, now I'm in a pickle. Do I go for that bed tonight or this one? Now, I don't need a lot of space in a bed, so this could actually be tonight's choice, I think. Tom, I might do it in your honour, mate. If you don't mind, I'm gonna sleep in your bed tonight. But I had a really, really, really good day yesterday. It was so much fun. Saw those two really cool bands. One was called Easy Life, um, who are my new faves, and the other one was Dusty Moonshine Big Band or something. Both really, really good, my kind of thing. Today, not too sure who we're planning to see. I think Billie Eilish is on the list. And other than that, I don't really know. I'd love to, I would love to have seen Lewis Capaldi, but I think by the time we get to the festival, I think he would have already played. But I'm, and also, that's the thing, like, this year I've not made any plans with, like, people that I really want, really want to see, if that makes sense. Because there's a big group of us. I'd rather stick with the group and have a good time with those guys than sort of dart off here, there, and everywhere to go and see bands I've made a list of seeing. Because I think that's what I did last time, was have, like, a too much of a schedule. And it's actually better if you go in there with, like, no schedule and just go around and discover stuff for you. Yourself. So that is the plan. Lay back Luke over here, just walking around, just going with the flow. But that has been my Glastonbury, and I do not regret it. Saying that though, one thing that I may regret is this. <sighs> that is refreshing. That is one way to wake yourself up and get rid of a hangover. I also have no idea if this phone's waterproof, so hopefully. Paddling pools though, and you have it on grass. Loads of grass gets in it. I'm gonna try and find a pond scoop to get rid of it. After a bit of digging around and searching, I found myself a net. This net has giant holes in it, so I don't know if it's gonna work at all, but hopefully it'll get some of it. It's actually meant for the pond, but uh, pond simple, paddling pool, same thing. Is it gonna work? I think it's only gonna get the big stuff. Yes! It worked. Oh, this is the life I've managed to get the oven working. But I could even just put down like, um, what do they call it? Like disposable barbecues and it'll work perfect. But also, we've got the ice and we've got the pins. We are on our way in. We're into the festival. What is going on? They're following us. Why is there so many seagulls around? I'm carrying around a, a gun at Glastonbury, but oh well. Pick me up! Here we go. Once again, as soon as I get to the field, I am awful at uh, actually vlogging. It's loud, there's a lot going on, uh, and I keep forgetting, so I've been awful at this. But, you know, I'm not a daily vlogger, so it kind of makes sense. You know, I'm not, I'm not the best at it. I'm not saying I'm the best at it. But what did happen is I ended up in this bed. I just turned the pillows around. And, uh, rather than use a big four poster, I just went straight for the uh, straight for Tom's bed. So thanks, Tom. It was really comfy. It was really comfy. I actually had a really good sleep. But the plan is now to get up, have breakfast, and then drive back to my dad's and I don't know what to do because I might my options are I can either leave uh Chippy at my dad's and come down and give him another time because to be honest I just want to get back to to London now rather than drive Chippy the whole way back to London I think I'd much rather just drive it to my dad's and then ask daddy dearest if he will drive me to the station and I'll get a train back it'd be a lot quicker and then I can just come down another weekend <gasps> oh I'm glad that I left it on that last night. I did not want to spill that all over the carpet. That would not be a good idea. But 
one of the nicest drinks I've ever had in my life. I love blueberry juice. Yeah, I think it might be easier if we can just go back, park Chippy up at my dad's and get the train back rather than drive the whole way back. I'm not feeling the long drive, if I'm honest. just want to go back and have a very, very chilled Sunday. Anyway, I must get up and start the day. The weather uh, is, do you know what? A little bit cloudy. We've got the Toy Story clouds in the sky. That's not what we want. We want another scorch of a day. Also, this worries me. It's quite windy out today. Which for Chippy uh, is bad news because that thing blows around all over the bloody shop. So, yeah. Uh, Time to get up off this wobbly bed and start the day. Right, it's that time. Shapwick House, you've been absolutely amazing. Everyone else, Mike, Christy, and the rest of the gang have been absolutely amazing. It's been such a good couple of days. But headed back to London because Diane, it's Diane's last show today. So, uh, gonna go back and see her. Absolute nightmare. I've broken down. Oh, I'm gutted. I drove all this way. And the most annoying thing is, I've got sausages that are getting warmer and warmer as it goes on. Uh, so I've broken down on like a spaghetti junction area. Luckily, I'm not blocking the road too much. I was about to get onto a main road, pulled up to the light, and it just conked out. Um, I didn't even hear it conk out because I listened to my tunes. Conked out, and so, uh, yeah, so I'm stuck here, loving life. I've called the RAC. Luckily, obviously, when I got one of these things, I understood that, you know, it could be one of those things. It's going to be one of those vehicles that does break down from time to time. And today is one of those days. It's broken down. So I've called the RAC. They're on their way, but they're going to be over three hours until they get here, which is annoying because I just want to get home. The good news is I can stay in here. In worst case scenario is I can just sleep in here. But I'm so pissed off, gutted. I seem to try and push it over as well, a bit more to the bit more to the right and that should be good and there's lorries going past this lorry can get past now then we could be in business i also don't know if to just jump out and actually try and push it to the side but then i need to steer it really frustrating but lorries can get past which is good <sighs> there's a police not a policeman but like a one of those people that transfuse takes over blood transfusions i wonder if he can call someone um i should probably get out the vehicle but i don't know what to do I'm not really used to this kind of situation before. That's what happens when you get a camper van. Chippy, you've let me down, mate. Bloody gutted. The worst thing about it is, this where I'm parked. I'm stuck here. I should have brought it a lot further in this way and it would have been a lot easier. But, is my hazard light still on? Yeah. That's saying cars can still get through there. Hmm. Well, update. It's still going to be three and a half hours. And the thing is, the hazard lights, I don't know how long the battery will last, but hopefully the hazard lights just keep going regardless of the battery. I don't know how it works exactly. Should know, but not good. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I knew something this would happen. I had a feeling in my bones. At least it's a nice day. Sun shining, nice warm day. Update, RAC's here. Just come and fix it. We managed to get it off the road, but still, I think it's the carburetor's flooded apparently, which is not good. So the carburetor has leaked. That was the problem. Yeah, so the carburetor has leaked, but at the moment, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say anything yet. But it's looking like it's good news, potentially. Positive thinking. Also, there's some bird inside my car. Get out. Fingers crossed, it's going to work. We'll find out soon. I just really hope so. I'm tired. Got a long way to go. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm back in Wiltshire actually. Here we go. Need my keys. Ooh. Moment of truth. Come on, Chippy. Don't let me down. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Any good? Ooh. No, go on, keep going. This could be good. What's funny is as well, people are driving past taking photographs. I think they found out that I've broken down. And they recognise me from obviously from, from YouTube. <laughs> and so they're taking pictures of me, sat on the side of the road. So if you have those photographs, please upload, please upload them to, uh, to Twitter so I can see it. Because <laughs> I probably look very stressed out. We have life. Jock, absolute legend, has saved the day. I think, touch wood. But Chippy is back on the road, hopefully. The journey continues. Tell you what, I've been given um, some sausages from Jimmy's farm and some burgers. I'm gonna see if Jock wants them as he saved the day. It's a little thank you. Oh, we're rolling. I've just pulled in because I, I, um, Jock helped me get away. But what a legend, what a nice guy. And mate, even off me a bottle of water for the road. I was like, trust me, Jock, I don't need water. I've got plenty of water, sausages, burgers. You also didn't want the sausages, so fair enough. But anyway, absolute legend, saved the day. Um, and now 
I can finally get back on the road. No two hour drive and touch wood. No more, uh, no more Barney's from Chippy, okay? No more Chip. Be good. I want to go home. I'm knackered and I want to see my girlfriend as well. Don't tell her I said that. I don't want to come across soppy. And after what feels like, I mean, time, my watch is saying it's 11 o'clock. I don't believe that, hang on one second. Well, I checked my clock and it, you're right, it's, it's five minutes to 11, which means I set off at about five o'clock. So five, six, so about a five hour journey that took, including breakdown, obviously. It was meant to be two and a half hours. Ended up taking five, which doesn't make sense. Have I time traveled or something to the future? Because there's no way it said it's two and a half hours, including the breakdown time. It doesn't make, it doesn't add up anyway, I can't, I'll give it, it is 11 o'clock at night. I'm so tired, but... Old chipster. We made it back, as you can see from my eyes, I'm so tired. But anyway, I'm back now, and hopefully, I can still cook Jimmy's burgers and sausages for dinner, because I am starving as well as hungry. What a day. You know what, after all this as well, if I have left my house keys at Glastonbury, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Moment of truth. Not ways getting to bed. Right, finally, I'm back home. I know it's been really hot this weekend, back at Glastonbury in the West Country, but oh my God, it's even hotter in London. We must have missed an absolute scorcher. It was quite nice back home. It was like, it was more like a, there's a, a slight breeze today. Mark at me talking about weather. I'm so tired that I'm just talking about weather, but it must have been so hot today in London because my apartment is roasting. And speaking of roasting, I need to, oh, I'm, I'm gonna cook these. I'm gonna put these back in the fridge, hopefully, they'll be okay tomorrow. But the burgers, I'm just gonna whack in now and try and cook some, because they look insane. I just wanna eat them as quickly as possible. Hopefully it won't give me a bad stomach, because um, they, what's the rules? Sweet, da -da, contains gluten, da -da -da, all good, yeah, whatever. Used by 21st of June. Oh, look at that. I don't know if Tom put it in his vlog, but these burgers um, from Jimmy's Farm are unreal. Like one of the nicest burgers I've ever had in my life. I'm not just saying that because it's Jimmy, I'm saying it because they genuinely are the nicest burgers I've ever tried in my life. And I've just texted my dad saying like, Dad, I've been, I've taken him out the fridge for about five hours. Will that be all right? And he said, it should be fine. So if I get ill next week, I'm blaming you, dad slash Greg. Oh my God. They are actually the nicest burgers in the world. Genuinely, I'm gonna end up eating all of these. I don't care if it makes me ill afterwards, I'm gonna eat them all. You literally just come back. Hang on a minute, who went to the festival, me or you? I always look like I've been to a festival. I don't look like I've just come back from tour. All neat and nice and prim and proper. What the hell is that? Prim and proper. You look like you just come back from a festival. <laughs> what is that t shirt? Look, I got yellow it's shoes cool. on. Yeah, you got your flip flops on. Tie dye. Shorts. Shorts and about 20 And suitcases. Bags. Have you been, were you at the festival? Were you spying on me? Are you doing yeah. some sort of prank video? I was. Go on, get. Get. Go on, get out! I've been shouting days. Hey, guess what? I broke down in Chippy. I know, I saw. Yeah. And I heard. Absolute nightmare. And in saying that, I'm gonna end today's vlog here. Glastonbury was incredible. Mike, Christie, and the rest of the gang were also, like, they're just the, the nicest guys, the most, such a great, I kept saying before, I kept saying to everyone, such a great bunch of people. So it's so nice to spend some time with them, and obviously Tom. Shame about Chibi breaking down, but everything has a silver lining. Always look on the positives. I didn't actually get that annoyed when we broke down. I, I was for like a split second at the start, then I realized, like my dad always says, Joe, when things go wrong, vlog it because it makes them more interesting. So the more things go wrong, in a way it's a, b a better thing. Also, uh, after, when I got going again, drove past Stonehenge with the sun setting behind and my new camping camper van playlist. I made a camper van playlist. Um, I'll put a link down below where you can go and see that. It's on my Spotify. Um, go and follow that if, if, you, if you're if you awesome to camper vans and like doing road trips. Good road trip playlist. Uh, but I had that going and I just had a real moment of uh, really missing the countryside. But I felt really happy. There's some good, there's some good tunes on there and it made me feel really, really happy. So, but you know, every day is, uh, every day has its ups and its downs. So you've got to always look on the bright side of life. That's what I should put that on the playlist actually. Anyway, I'm going to end today's vlog there. Hope you enjoyed it. I think it might be a short one today. Not too sure. If it is, I'm sorry. Another vlog coming very, very soon. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Subscribe, like, comment, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow or another day with another one. Good night.